Hello and welcome to another Roblox tutorial. In this video, I will be showing you how to bind an action to multiple key presses. So this will be things like Control C or Control V, where you have to press two buttons at the same time in order to get a certain action, like to copy or to paste. And I will be making this inside of Roblox Studio using Lua. And this turns out to be a lot simpler than you first might expect. So stay tuned to figure out how to do this. And make sure to like and subscribe if you enjoy this video. And without further ado, let's get right into it. So the first thing I'm going to do is going to starter player, then starter player scripts, and create a module script. And I'm going to name this module script input. So this module script is going to be responsible for collecting our player's input and firing a function for whatever local script requires it when a certain input requirement is met. So this could be multiple inputs, and that's basically what it's meant for. So on a Windows device, I could do Control C and Control V. You have to hold Control and then press those letters in order for the action to occur. And you can also do multiple key presses like Control Shift S or something like, you know, it'll be very versatile. So I'm going to define my first variable. This is going to be local user input service. And this is the Roblox service that gets the input. And this service is really convenient. I spelled that wrong. Let's do user input service. There we go. Because it allows you to detect player input and also check if a button is being pressed down and that's exactly what we want so I'm going to rename my module variable to input just for the sake of organization and I'm going to define a function local binds and this will be equal to a blank table so this is a table that's going to be storing all of our event connections for our input module so just like the contacts action service which can bind and unbind certain actions this service will be able to do the exact same. I say service, it's a module script, but it could be the equivalent of a service because you can add whatever functions and whatever that you want. So our first function that we're going to create is input.bindKeyPresses. And this is the big function. It's responsible for binding multiple key presses to a single action. And we'll need a few parameters. First one's the name. This will be useful for binding and unbinding. Then the callback, this is a function that will fire once all the key binds have been pressed. And then we're going to do three dots or ellipses. So this parameter basically means there's a variable amount of parameters that will come after this ellipses. So it's basically just a tuple, which is just like a bunch of variables. And in order to actually use it, we'll have to packet so local keys will be equal to table dot pack dot 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 so it basically takes these ellipses which are which hold whatever amount of variables is after this because this will be for our key codes so we can have two key codes like control c or we can have three key codes like control then shift then c so it just doesn't matter but we need to store it here and interesting thing is is there's also a variable in this table called n, so keys.n, and we're just gonna set this to nil because we're not gonna need it. It just gives you the amount of variables, which is kind of weird. I don't know why it's there in the first place, but let's just get rid of it. So now we're gonna set binds, brackets name. So we're referencing a table and we're putting a new input in, not input, a new key, and this is our name, and it's going to be equal to a event connection, user input service, dot input begin connect function input there we go so here's our input and this input object has many things it has the key code it has the type you can find whatever you want off this but for right now we need the key code and because i think some input in roblox does not have a key code and this is just to be safe we're going to check if input dot key code and and then we're going to check if input dot key code is equal to keys 
number keys then and end so what this does is it'll check if there's a key code first of all and it'll check if the key code is equal to the last key that we give it in this little ellipses up here and the reason we're doing that is you want to have it in chronological order on my pc for example i press Control c to copy something if i press c Control, it won't work so we have to do the same idea here and now what we're going to do is we're going to run through for i keys in pairs keys actually it'd be for i key in pairs keys my bad we're going to check if not user input service is key down key then return so what this will do is it'll say is the key down if the key is not down we're going to return the function so the action will not execute and the reason we're doing this in such a weird fashion is because no matter how many keys we are if we like if only one key is right that's still not good enough we have to make sure all of them are right so the way i'm doing it here is if one of them's wrong it's going to stop it completely so if none of them's wrong it's just going to skip this for loop and so after we verify that all the keys are pressed we're going to call the callback function and so this will just be the function that will run once all of the keys have been pressed so let's quickly test that out i'm going to create another script in starter player scripts just a basic local script and we're going to define our input module i'm just going to say input and this will be equal to require script dot parent make sure to put your weight for child because we are in the client and things take a while to load and we're going to do input and then we're going to do input bind key presses and let's name it test the, the callback function we're just going to define right here it'll be equal to just print keys or pressed and then let's put another comma this will be our key code so i'm going to do enum dot key code dot left control enum dot key code dot c so when i press control c this should say keys or pressed so let's test that out so if i press control c you can see keys were pressed but if i only press c nothing happens if i only press control nothing happens so you have to hold both of them and also notice you can hold control and then press c but you can't hold c and then press control so this is exactly how windows machines work work i'm not sure if that's your desired behavior but that's the standard behavior for computers and just to show you that i can do multiple key presses i can say in between c I can just say enum dot keyco dot shift left shift there we go so now i should have to press Control shift c i know you can't see my keyboard but just trust me i'm pressing it you can hear it obviously but when i press Control c nothing happens Control shift c keys were pressed and the cool thing about this sort of system is you can press the keys before the last key in whatever order you want so i can press shift Control c and it'll work and i can press Control shift c and it'll work and that doesn't really matter and that's also the intended behavior of windows i'm pretty sure as well because all you need is just to wait till the very last input and then you just check if all other inputs were pressed at the time and this leads to very efficient code i mean look at this this is only like 20 20 lines long right now and it works very very well now there's only one other function we need to define and this is input dot unbind key presses and then we're going to take in the name so we're going to check if binds name then binds name disconnect so this is a event connection right here you can this is just like a touched event or any other event in roblox and we're storing it in a key in our binds table so when we want to disconnect our event we just go to the same table, go to the same name, and disconnect it. This is a super simple bind unbind system, just like contact to action service, and it took me like an extra like two lines to create. So if you don't want that, then you can keep it how it is right now, but I personally prefer it this way because it gives you a lot more versatility. So now we're gonna do input unbind key presses, and we're gonna 
and let's say test. I capitalize it. There we go. Lowercase input. And we're going to wait five seconds, let's say. So I'm just going to be spamming my keys until that five second mark. So you can see I keep on pressing. And after five seconds, it stops. I can't press anymore because it has been unbinded, which is exactly what we want. And that is our module done. So that's about it for this video. So I hope you guys enjoyed. I will have a paste bin in the description with the code if you want it. And make sure to join my Discord server, link in the description, because the suggestion for this video actually came from my Discord server. And it was a really fun project to make. It was really simple, but it's actually very, very powerful. So if you guys want to give me some quality suggestions, just hop into my Discord server and we'll talk and we can do whatever. But other than that, make sure to like and subscribe if you enjoyed. Comment any questions or suggestions down below. You can also do that. And I hope you have a nice day, and goodbye.